welcome to my hey TJ sit you're not hey TJ get back here now you know okay there's good now I don't know what you're gonna bitch about more about the uh, treatment of my dog in a park like my dog was like the best dog ever he listened like you wouldn't believe matter of fact I got, I got complimented how good a dog he was but when he came out of a park he was just not the same dog my dog never bothered other dogs now he's fighting all the time wants to fight with every dog he sees he uh never uh he never when i tied him up in places you know I could tell you originally when I'd go down to the soup kitchen, I could just leave him outside, tell him to stay, and he'd just stay right in one spot. Wouldn't even come in the doors when it was open. But now, he just sits there and yipes. Like, uh, we're talking about PST. You know, PS, post-traumatic stress disorder. Yeah, you know, the one the army guys get. Yeah, well, um, that's my one bitch for today. But I got another one, like uh, this whole property. This, this whole park system and the oil beneath the system it's uh, the biggest crock of shit you ever seen because uh, according to the project sale that uh, William Anhorn wrote it said that dad donated all this stuff he didn't donate shit in fact um, the actual words of uh, Senator Jack Austin were he w this will was the senile wishes of a crazy old man. Now, does that sound like somebody that's going to donate all this shit? The oil and gas rights and the lifetime interests that were in uh, this park. See, that's what they used to have. Lifetime interests, right? But uh, when, when they uh, foreclosed on the property and uh, for three months in the will that was thrown out, my foster parents had uh, control as my le uh, legal guardians, right? And they told the credit union bank to stop making payments on the Viner Center. Now, the Viner Center was not even subdivided. It was part of this whole package. So when the city, you know, confiscated, didn't bother telling anybody that, that that's what, how it did it, but that's the way it was. And then when I squatted on this property in 2000, that's why when I went up to uh, Siobhan and I said, I know what you guys did. In fact, the house that I squatted right next to was and no matter what shit says on that poster maybe it was built in 1928 but it wasn't built there that house was in Schuler because my mom used to wash dishes in it for Bill Perry now they even have the owner of the of the greenhouse as some Lieberthal shit fucker that's not even true everybody knows who owns the greenhouses fuck I just can't believe the crap of shit it's almost as bad as this COVID like seriously you know like okay let's go to the bottom line on this COVID okay first off uh, kills less than half of the common cold maybe it's maybe it's a really high tech uh, contagion but it's an implement it's an well gotta heard my words it's an impotent strain sure like, if, if they really wanted to use their heads, all they'd have to do is sit in a pot tub because it dies in 88 degrees. Like, come on, where's common sense in this shit? You know? Well, that's about my bitch for today, I guess. Uh, but just check out my other videos. I'll explain everything in detail. And when I figured out a billion dollars 40 years ago, that's $400 billion. That's what the lawsuit's going to be. And uh, the oil and gas rates, I want the revenue from the 40 years that it's told it for. Sure, if they'd have been honest in the beginning, they could have had it. I probably would have gave it to them. But they hid it, and they pretended it was donated. Like, they lied. So whatever I couldn't inherit as oil and gas rights, I can inherit as revenue that was stolen. And I want that, I want that, all that money and the proceeds from the lawsuit to go into a big uh, pool, just like uh, um, uh, Serb. I want it to work the same way as Serb did. I want it to replace Serb, except you don't have to sell your soul. And I don't want no $5,000 to uh, qualify. I want everybody to qualify. And that's the start. 
because I think that that's done more for homelessness in this city than anything, you know? Like, like I, I, you know, I don't want to come across as an asshole, but I sure as fuck don't like this shit fucking bullshit. And, uh, it's about time somebody took a stack at these fuckers. And, uh, since they can't kill me, they fucking tried that before, and I got three police chiefs dead in the ground because of it. And the one that resigned because I called him a crooked motherfucker. Now he's running for mayor, and he's even crookeder. Or Durbanowski. When him, when uh, Linda, Linda, it was Linda Roth. Yeah, she was the one on the, when I, when they tried taking that property away from Rob Middleton. Yeah, when I went in there and I seen that uh, the, uh, the chief juror was uh, knew the two witnesses implicitly. In fact, since I wasn't good enough to be his best man, the other best man was the other witness. So, like, she wanted to pretend that she didn't know nobody. Well, that's pretty well why they called that a mistrial and threw the whole thing out. Now, I'm saying that that was a conspiracy, not just a mistrial. That was a conspiracy to hide the truth. Right? And they got Durbanowski because at the actual time, Durbanowski was the head guy at uh, the Catholic school board and Linda was on the treasurer. So she was right underneath them, eh? So when, uh, I imagine when he got a hold of Linda and told her she needed somebody to make sure that that boat went through the way it was supposed to and Rob was convicted of uh, picking weeds and the, when the bylaw officers came and and all the shit that went down. Well, it was all thrown out of court in about 10 seconds once the truth came out just like this is going to be you have a great day medicine hat